God's light. Don't ever think God can't reach you in your darkest, darkest hour. He is light. Oh, did you know that the realm of the physical, we only see a small portion of the light that is actually present. Even the best of human eyes only have a narrow bandwidth of spectrum to all the wavelengths of light about us. Bees, get this, bees can actually see ultraviolet light. That's right. They see these amazing patterns of light on flowers and it helps them target the nectar. Isn't God amazing? Let's put it this way. We see far less in this world than what there is to see. And that's even more true with regard to the spiritual forces all around us. Life is way more dynamic than your optical perception. There is a far greater dimension to light than goes beyond the universe. There is an intellectual and a spiritual origin of light in which God alone is the essence of. Why has God told humanity to not make any graven images of him? Because his word clearly says he is light. Colossians 1 verse 15 reminds us that God is invisible. We just talked about how most of the light around us is not perceived by the human eye. That doesn't mean it isn't powerful even in a natural way. So then, what about God? If bees can see something that you can't see, does it mean it doesn't exist? This is basic to life because we tend to be tormented by what we don't see. But we can be comforted and empowered by God Almighty by believing in Him and trusting in Him. 1 John chapter 1, verse 5, God is light and there is no darkness in Him at all. Why is this such a great revelation to our life, to your life? So much of our striving as humanity is to become, to evolve into some sense of being that actually matters, that would answer all of our whys and our whats. We want answers. You should want answers. Martin Luther King Jr. once said this. He said, darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love 